Quick recap of the night. Belinda Bensick taking out Layla Fernandez. And listen, guys, I just want to say Belinda Bensick is a classy competitor. She's definitely one of my favorite women. I love her interviews. She speaks so elegant and well. Beautiful person. Great tennis player. I love her game. And I can remember a young Belinda Bensick taking out Serena Williams. She was so happy. Great memories. Belinda Bensick, last year's gold medal winner. Such an accomplishment. Having a gold medal, especially in tennis, a sport that's so competitive, that reminds me of the 2012 Olympics where <laughs> Serena Williams <laughs> gave her a donut. Unbelievable. <laughs> and then she did the crip walk. <laughs> and then she danced on her. That was that was bad. She put up a donut. She ended the match with four straight aces. Wow, that was bad. Six love, six one. But Belinda Bensick, great competitor. Uh, big shout to Layla Fernandez, one of my favorite players. She's she's not 100%, but when she gets back in form, she's going to be a problem. But Belinda Bensick, so happy for her. She's going to take on Sloan Stevens, and they haven't played in a long time. She says she's excited to play Sloan. That's going to be a great matchup. I think Belinda, whew, you know what, I'm, I'm going to cover that match. I'm not going to give any insight out on that one. That's going to be great. Get your popcorn. And listen, guys, what about Caroline Garcia? That's going to be a great match. She's here. Don't forget about her. Listen, guys, Isla Tomjanovic is big time. And I'm about sick of you guys talking junk about Isla. I hope you enjoyed the lock I gave you. She literally blew Gomez out of the water. Isla has one of the best backhands on tour. I keep saying it, and you guys aren't believing it. She won five games off of Iga Swiatek. <laughs> she kept forcing Iga back with her power. Listen, guys, she's healthy now. Watch out. You saw what she did at Wimbledon. Okay, you saw what she did at San Jose. Isla is back, and she's healthy. She's playing the best tennis of her life. Stop sleeping on Isla. And listen, guys, she's a bona fide hottie. Good. Listen, Gomez played a great match, four aces. She's a great talent. And l l listen, guys, the matchmakers, they gave the Spanish women the best matchups possible. Leila Fernandez, someone she beat twice. Okay, she beat Bensic twice. They gave the Spanish women the heavy ball strikers, knowing that in this and under these conditions does not favor the heavy ball strikers. Take a look at Camila Osario. We're going to take a look at that match shortly. But Gomez, listen, guys, she took out Sofia Kennan in Tokyo. Kunimatova literally put up two donuts on her. But Gomez is a great talent. She's upcoming. She's got several championships on the lower level. She's won seven of her last 10 matches. She's athletic. She's fast. Watch out for her. She's a Layla Fernandez in the making. But I'm a big fan of Isla. Look, I think Isla's a baddie. Okay? She's a bona fide baddie. She's a hottie. And... When I say baddie, I'm not talking about looks. I'm talking about how you carry yourself, the presentation in the interview, the respect for your opponents. Isla's a bona fide baddie. She's big time, guys. Yes, she is. A wave to the fans. And look, she said the conditions here are very windy. They're brutal. And listen to my WTA Finals video last year I did. I broke down the weather. And when I was giving these picks earlier, I kind of forgot about the weather. But in case you guys don't know, the race to the finals, literally only three spots have been guaranteed. 17 women in competition for those spots. This tournament is going to be very, very important. Yes, Madison Keys still has a chance. This tournament, amazing. But what about Petra Kvitova taking out Bernarda Pera? Yes, Kvitova, I had her winning, but you're not going to see me do too many videos uh, fading Bernarda Pera. Uh, I like Bernardo Pera. I'm not going to be fading her too much, but I did uh, take Kvitova to win that match. Uh, really good odds. Uh, very good odds. And Camila Osario versus Alex Androva. Listen, 9 for 11 free pick videos. This is one of the picks that I got wrong, but I, I forgot. It's Mexico, guys. I did not. I didn't even think. I put too much focus in France. I didn't even think about the weather conditions. It's windy. The elevation, the balls do not travel well. Alex Androva, I watched the match and I watched the first set. They literally, the first eight games were all breaks. They traded the first eight games were all breaks. And 
I'm looking at the mats and I'm like, why is Alex Androva's ball keeps flying eight feet out of bounds? And I, I said, what the freak? It's a Mexico, the elevation. That was a horrible pick. Someone like Camilla, G, uh, Camilla Osario, who has that good mid-range game, she could bring opponents forward and hit angles. That elevation is not affecting her game because she's not really going to go baseline. She's going to bring you forward. Taylor picked matchup for Camilla to advance. An amazing job for the matchmakers. I told you they gave the Spanish women the best opportunities to advance. And look, we're in Mexico. These fans were cheering hard for Camilla, cheering hard for Leila Fernandez, and chilling hard for Gomez. Great win for Camilla Osario. And listen, guys, another match here. What was Sasnovich wearing? What in the heck was she wearing today? But listen, this is another match. I tell you guys all the time, if you follow the channel, Marta Kasu, she's going to come out guns blazing in the first set. She's a front runner. Most of the time, she'll win the first set and run out of gas. She does a lot of calisthenics. She's very explosive and strong. But it catches up with her during the second set. But Sasnovich doesn't have the power to compete with Kasuk. And she took this match personal. Uh, that was just, I, I don't even, that was actually a pick I wasn't even going to do. I just i just did it to talk about Sasnovich. Um, I would be perfect today. And Jill Teichman earlier, uh, I did have Bianca winning this match. But it's not a match I wanted to cover because... Both ladies are just too inconsistent. But back to Isla Tomjanovic. She's a bona fide baddie. Put some respect on her name. She is classy. I love it when she wins. Her interviews are great. And look, it doesn't matter how old you are. If you have a dream, follow it. Work hard until you get results. Isla, she has her clothing line. She's doing the reality TV with the tennis network. Look, she's she has a renewed career. She's amazing. And I hope I hope Isla wins the tournament. Why not? She could do it. Good energy reporting. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a full draw. I have a couple locks. I might do one or two. Stay tuned. Good energy.